year is 1980. And no, we're not on a disco tech with your grandparents. The 1980s is known as the pre-Bitcoin era, where the first concept of cryptocurrency was thought out. The digital cash, or digicash, was born, which quickly went bankrupt in the 1990s, but it was likely to be the first prominent digital currency. Then, in 1998, Wei Dai, Hello. the Chinese author and computer engineer, was the first to define modern cryptocurrencies. The concept was completely released in 2009, when a white paper outlining the fundamentals of blockchain and Bitcoin was published by Satoshi, the beginning of Bitcoin. Since Bitcoin's inception in 2009, a growing group of Bitcoin supporters began trading and mining the cryptocurrency. The first ever cryptocurrency wallet was created by Satoshi Nakamoto alongside the first ever digital asset Bitcoin. Then, 2010 came the first ever purchase of Bitcoin digital currency. What was it going to be? A private jet? Or maybe a luxury yacht you might ask? Or the latest supercar? No, you're all wrong because the first ever documented sale of Bitcoin was for two large pizzas. These pizzas today would be known as the most expensive pizzas ever purchased on the planet in Earth's history. Which, by the way, 10,000 Bitcoins was only around about $25. But in today's money, breaking that pizza down today, the pizza would have been worth £129,760,706. And one slice of this pizza would set you back a mere £16,219,877. Oh my god. Making that little one piece of pepperoni on that one slice of pizza worth a staggering £1.2 million. In 2011 saw the rise of alternative coins, aka altcoins. These were the first rival cryptocurrencies to emerge as Bitcoin grows in popularity and the concept of decentralized encrypted money gain momentum. Coins like Namecoin and Litecoin were among the first to emerge. Also in 2011, the first ever mobile Bitcoin wallet application was released for Android. The company Electrum, claimed to be one of the most popular Bitcoin wallets ever to exist, made it easier for users to manage their Bitcoin holdings on the go. Then in June 2012, Coinbase was founded with the help of a tech startup program for some of around $150,000. In 2013, the price of one Bitcoin dropped sharply just after it passed $1,000 for the first time. In 2014, Mount Gox, the world's largest Bitcoin exchange, went down and the owners of 850,000 Bitcoins never saw them again. Later that year, hardware, or as we know, cold storage wallets, entered the cryptocurrency scene, storing private keys offline, reducing the risk of online attacks. One of the biggest pioneers of these hardware wallets was the company named Trezor. 2016 was the year of Ethereum and smart contracts. As the popularity of the blockchain technology was rising, so was the introduction of other currencies based on it. Ethereum second largest cryptocurrency by market cap was the most notable Bitcoin alternative. Then, in 2017, token wallets and exchange giants started to emerge. The world of cryptocurrencies continued to expand beyond Bitcoin and Ethereum with the introduction of various other coins such as Cardano. This called for the creation of crypto wallets that would support a variety of tokens issued on different blockchain platforms. The Winklevoss twins became the first crypto billionaires in the crypto ecosystem after the late 2017 surge in Bitcoin prices. Also in 2017, Binance Holdings Limited, which is branded Binance, became a global company that operated the largest cryptocurrency exchange in terms of daily trading volume in the world. 2018 was known for the great crypto market crash. More than 1,400 cryptocurrencies in circulation had dropped from over $800 billion at the start of January to about $460 billion by mid-January of 2018. 2019, Sam Bankman-Fried opens the FTX exchange. According to Forbes, he became one of the richest people under 30 when investors valued FTX at 
40 billion dollars in 2021 2022 the era of impending doom for exchanges by this time there have been 17 major crypto bankruptcies since 2009 of which there were more than five crypto exchange bankruptcies alone in 2022 biggest crypto exchange to go bankrupt was ftx peaked at 21 billion in daily trading volume and 2023 at present the global crypto market cap is over 1 trillion dollars with bitcoin dominating around 41 percent of it there are around 26,000 cryptocurrencies with 33 new ones created every week on average nearly 20 percent of all bitcoin may very well have actually been lost where will crypto take us next we'll find out together join the old spot community